guys, today I'm going to tell you the top seven things to bring to your pre-release in case you're new. And I'm going to start off with the most important thing, uh, an open mind. Remember when you're going to a pre-release, be nice, be friendly, uh, be ready to just talk and have a conversation. I think one of the most frustrating, frustrating things for me is when the person across that's playing with you, across, you know, the table is has a really bad attitude and it just feels like they don't want to be there. Uh, most people at pre-release, they really, really like magic. They're willing to play magic until like probably 11 o'clock until like 7 in the morning. That's how much they like it. So they're just like you. So keep an open mind and be extremely friendly. That is by far the most important part. Uh, next would be a play mat. The reason I would always bring a play mat is it's a very good Con conversational piece. Wow, it's late at night. Uh, it's, you know, when people look at your playmat, they can talk about it, you can talk about their playmat. It's probably the easiest way to talk to someone. And that's very important when you're there for a very long time. I mean, you're gonna be there until the morning if you stay, and you're there at least for a few hours, if not way more, right? So having conversation with people, uh, like point one is very important in the playmat, does a very good job. Maybe uh, bring your playmat of your favorite anime, bring your playmat of, uh, if you like hunting, you know, like it's guns on your playmat. I don't know, bring whatever playmat you feel exemplifies who you are and then you're gonna have people comment on it and you, that's a very easy way to have a discussion. Uh, next, uh, deck box. Um, now, the deck box, I'm gonna actually say it's a deck of cards in the box, your, your deck. Uh, I would probably bring a standard deck or an EDH deck. I primarily bring standard only because I know most people in that location play standard. Uh, EDH is popular, but uh, I always borrow people's EDH decks. They are more fun. So I always bring a standard deck and that's all I bring. I bring uh, just one deck and it's probably, it's not like an, a, a tier one deck either. It's probably more of a fun ally type of deck. I think it's nice to play decks that are not tier one at a casual, you know, pre-release, right? So bringing a standard or EDH deck, that's definitely, I would recommend that. So you can, there's a lot of downtime uh, in between matches. Next, uh, sleeves. Uh, sleeves, in case you uh, pull a very good card, one of the things that you don't want to do is you don't want to go sleeveless because your good cards, pro probably ones that you're going to play will be damaged and your opponent does shuffle your deck as well, so it's not like, hey, well, I'll be very careful. Sometimes your opponent is not that careful. Uh, sleeves also uh, help, for me, they help like delineate the deck, so when I pick up 40 of them, I always bring like 42, just in case, two in case they break, and it helps me like deck build, because I know like I have to fill 40 of these out by X amount of time, therefore, you know, I, I'm, restricting myself. I always put the land in the sleeves. I always calculate the land in the sleeves. And then um, from the land, I, well, obviously I pick the cards I want to play. And then I put the amount of land I want to play, 17 lands, 18, depending on the type of deck I want to play. But, you know, obviously I can change the ratio of the lands. Uh, just to have 22 sleeves that I need to put cards into, and then once the cards are into those sleeves, I count them and then I do the ratio of land. So sleeves, very important. Uh, next is a bag. I typically travel light. I don't like to travel uh, with too much in my backpack. I actually do not bring, I don't know if I will bring a trade binders for this one, but I typically have not brought or done any trades at pre-release, um, mainly because, <laughs> I don't know. A lot of times people want to trade and they want to trade in booster packs and they want to trade in stuff that you can buy from the store. So when I do a trade, it's mainly because I'm buying something first that person at the store, as opposed to cards. I just, I just really don't trade magic cards anymore. I don't know why that is the case, but it's true. Okay, so we did um, a smile, a play mat, deck, standard or EDH deck, uh, sleeves, backpack, and the next one, Dice. Uh, dice is very good. Uh, it keeps track of your opponent's, you might say life. Life um, pad would be very good too, but I don't like life pad because I always lose the pen. So I use dice to track both players' lives. 
uh, allies, plus one, plus one encounters, things of that nature. Um, dice, a dice pack like this is actually very good. The D20 is good, but it's not enough. You need like a bunch of dice, um, a cubix. I believe this is called cubix. I wish I kept the label, but I don't know where the label went. And that's number six. Uh, number seven, try to bring a friend. I know that they're doing the two-headed giant thing, so you, whatever, that's whatever. But like in any pre-release, try to bring a friend. Uh, why bringing a friend is helpful is because then you know someone at the party. So if you can consider pre-release this extremely nerdy party, then and you're bringing a friend, there's always someone you can talk to. There's always something you can go to, and you know, <laughs> have fun with. It's just way better with a friend. Now, I know that's not possible for everybody. So for those people who are not able to bring a friend to pre-release, uh, make a friend really fast at pre-release. And there's gonna be people, a lot of people come in there and they're just, you know, by themselves and they don't play Magic that often. Having a friend to talk to you at pre-release, because pre-release, again, it's so long, uh, is in incredibly um, important because that will help you talk to other people and that will give you, you know, kind of a vote of confidence, if you will. So either bring a friend or go there early and then try to make a friend who's gonna be there pre-release. Sit next to them, make your deck, you know, together. I don't know, not together, but you know what I mean. Like open the packs together, like in front, in front of each other. I don't know. And, you know, that's probably my seven tips on going to a pre-release and having a good time. I think I'm gonna upload this Sunday, but I'm not positive. Anyway, bye guys.